Hello everyone, we are back to do our new Belgian drive. Um, fortunately again, like uh, I said in previous videos, not able to have the wide angle camera this time. There's a bug in version 10.3 that there's a chance if you put it in park that uh, you will no longer be able to use a beta until the car is slept. Uh, that could have to do with century mode, it could have to do with something else. No one knows for certain. Uh, Tesla's going to have to look at the logs for sure and try and figure out what the heck's going on. Uh, this version seems a little bit delayed on the brake there. I'm not sure why this guy would just swing out in the traffic all of a sudden. Okay. Uh, this is this is a challenging one to navigate just because it goes all over the place as you can see here. Um, so I'm going to try my best here and see if we can recreate everything as best as like as last time. And <laughs> these people from the last video are walking in the street again. They just I don't know what I don't think they know what they're doing. Now turn left onto Otis Street. Okay, well it's kinda of rolled through that stop sign to be honest. I'm just gonna push it into the street. Okay. Now turn right onto Patton Avenue. Did I I'm no, I put it back at average. I changed it to chill, just to kind of mess around, trying to figure out if we would fix it, and I moved it back to average. So this van is completely blocking my view, and there's a car. There's another car coming. This truck right here. Okay, we're good to go. That seems improved. They immediately got in the left lane. Oh, though it brake rather hard right there. It's struggling. It's struggling with this version for sure. So here's where I wish I had my 360 camera up. Um, definite, like I can't see it. I really hope. Ooh, okay. Maybe it can make decisions a little bit quicker than I can, but. Yeah, that was a definite get disengagement. Because it, it just refused. I tried to force it into the lane, but it just refused to get into the turn lane. The bike lanes in this lane um, confuse it every single time. But hopefully enough feedback will eventually tell it to, hey, you, you messed up. Get in the right lane. So a human driver would probably al have already gone. Okay, you can go. Turned a little bit wide there. In 500 feet, turn left onto Banks Avenue. So where this car's turn is where I'm gonna turn. Now turn left onto Banks Avenue. Kind of an odd stopping or slowing behavior at this sign. It seemed like almost like it got caught off guard. And maybe it did, maybe it just didn't see the sign behind the car and then all of a sudden it saw it and it's like, okay, we should start braking now. Okay, we are gonna go up here now. now nav is really causing issues. It keeps on changing the nav point. Okay. Nav is the bane of our existence. We need waypoints so badly and <laughs> Okay, so it needs to know. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do a snapshot. Because it needs to know, hey, this person is um, parallel parking. We need to stop and let them parallel park, or we need to go around. I'm starting to be more critical and not let it, especially on bills that just aren't good, like this one. I would like it to, um, that's not a, um, no, it's an eight. Yeah, that's a gas one. Yeah, it's so hard to tell if it's the new, new one or not. I don't know why it's so hesitant on this turn today. Now turn right to stay on Church Street. Every time it's made this somehow. 
Now See if it has the same hesitancy on this one. Uh, okay. They are doing a three point turn. Yeah, we're gonna go down this. Oh, yeah, they were parking here. I'm pressing the accelerator just to give it more confidence, but that was pretty smooth otherwise, and it I am gonna have to disengage. Okay. This might be a, okay. Maybe it's not a one-way street. I'm gonna do a snapshot there because the car they need to know what to do if it ever has that type of situation again. Now your destination is on the right. Oh no, we don't want to go that way. We want to try and go up this street. Good turn. Good turn. Okay. I've never noticed this green mark in front, and it has a bicycle symbol on there, as if maybe it's space for a bicycle to go on, I don't know. But I think the car's doing the right thing, obviously it's not projecting what I can see on the road. Um, yeah, it's kind of an interesting, interesting deal. If you want to go down here, oh, I should not have done that. <laughs> Now turn left on to Avenue. Okay, fortunately, we nav midway through to not screw it up. Press the accelerator to get it more confidence. It's, it's so frustrating because the level of brake that just happened right there would have triggered an automatically. Well, uh, a forward collision warning uh, if I was driving manually and yet it hurts my score like if it was my insurance it would hurt my score but then the car's like if you like you beta even though it does it anyway you're gonna have a just fine score uh, as you can see the bike lane is really 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 freaking it out every time you come down this the bike lane really freaks it out Look at that. They're already patching the update. The rever the revising it down to 5.1. 5 wow. Yeah, so they, they saw all the issues we were having and put out an emergency fix. I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to get home. Uh, well, get that downloaded soon enough. There you go. That's um, it's down. Yeah, download an update. So clearly they they were fast on fixing this problem. Fortunately, um, hopefully that does fix indeed fix the problems we're having. It always seems to go too close to that curb right there. I don't like it. This appeared to be improved over 10.2 regarding the braking behavior here. Okay, you can go all the way through. In 500 feet, your destination will be on the left. No truck. I have the right of way. So while this is not as bad as 10.1 was, 10.1 was really not good. Um, this is definitely worse than 10.2. Now, of course, as I'm talking, we have an update downloading. So I'm going to see if that is going to... Yep. I don't know if my data is going to be used or not. And maybe me pressing the button is what's slowing down the, the download. It probably is because it's uploading data for the snapshots. And then all the download is really slow now. So we'll, we'll see if it can download quick enough. Pressing it.
Okay, I made, oh, sorry, Onyx. I made that mistake last time. It just failed to keep on turning. Last time, at least, fortunately, it recovered. This time, it's just like, nope, let's go into the curb. So, let's see what our download is at. Yeah, it's not downloading very quick. They have full LTE because it's uploading. What I've, what I've noticed on internet connections, if you upload full upload speed, your download gets hammered. It just, the download speed just gets destroyed. At least on slow connections it does. On fiber, do I have I have fiber at home, symmetrical 100 megabit, and it really doesn't seem to have that issue. But on any copper connection, that it or LTE, it really seems to kill the connection. I'm I'm just gonna go straight home and then um, install this update. Why is it turning the blinker on? if it completely fails this turn again. Yep. Completely failed this turn. It seems like the bad updates will fail this turn and the good updates won't. Seems really odd. It's like when you know an update's bad, it will fail this turn. But when you know an update's good, it will make this turn. It's such an odd thing. This update's just not good, everyone. Um... Fortunately, it's not downloading quick enough to go to the 10.1. I don't know what we're doing. Okay. Good thing there wasn't a car on the other side of that. Too fast over that speed bump for sure. Okay, if it, go, it gets too far left this time, uh, yeah, it needs to stay over here. Go ahead and record that. Surprised that didn't disengage. Um, it got too close to the curb for me right there. Good doggo right there. The dog park's below us to the right. Okay, so this is the end of this drive, everyone. Go ahead and go in here. We're gonna continue going in here. And, um... This will be yeah, our kind of parking lot right test. Now. I don't know if actually there might not even be a spot for us to park, but um, yeah, let's kind of kind of scroll through here. But yeah, I again, not not a good update. Now, unfortunately, this is going to really screw up the videos because um, they're downgrading us 0.1 version back. Who knows what that means? Maybe maybe that's the one they QA tested well and it's like okay no issues on this one i don't i don't know what uh, maybe point the this version right here no parking okay um well we're gonna we're not parking technically maybe this version right here is um so we're on 36.5.2 right now right here as you can see and they're downgrading one maybe this is the version elon said had a left turn bug and that was good and maybe they um they changed something and fixed that bug and it caused all these other issues. Maybe internal QA was testing this version and then they tried to patch that last thing real quick and it caused all the bugs in dot two. So we'll see. It's obviously taken a long time to download, but we're gonna pause right here. I'm gonna chat our chat and see what if everyone else is getting that update as well. 
But next update here is gonna go through the parking lot and then we're gonna head on back to um, to go home. Thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you in the next video.